Up next, we've got a, an established community man, a poet. Actually, you know what? I think this guy actually inspired me to write my very first poem in third grade. And, um, you know, I don't consider myself a poet, but I have wrote, written uh, poetry along the way. And every time I do, I think of this guy. So I'm going to give props and praises to Mr. Dan Roberts. So I totally appreciate you guys all reading such personal poetry, but right now I'm in a phase of political poetry because I think there's a need for some of it to happen. I wrote this today. It's called Brexit Day, Boxing Day. Now most people think that Boxing Day is a day in England when everybody takes all the boxes, they got their gifts in and throws them out, but it's not actually. It's the day that, it's the day after Christmas and the people give gifts to public servants and to the UPS driver and stuff like that. Okay, so here's Brexit Day, Boxing Day, and I've often thought that the end of World War II, they had a box and they took all these demons and they stuck them inside the box and then they tied it up and today it started getting untied. Tug the ribbon here and the unraveling begins. The bow was always lopsided, a loop on the right, always bigger, a bit of a crowning flourish to what the box held. The wrapping paper, currency of common debt, backed only by promises made by liars, now crumpled on the floor. The bride stripped bare by her bachelors, even. And under the box lid, centuries of flags, cruciforms, trenches, gases, and camps concentrating the unwanted. The countdown has begun. There are no hands on this clock. Digital numbers change without movement. The gods we imagined all vanished in clear thought. As the lid begins to lift, proud chants are, arise and ashes begin to escape. Pretty fun, huh? <laughs> Some of you guys were around and aware of Y2K. Some of you were actually born after Y2K. But I wrote this poem about Y2K. It's called O Millennium. Everybody thought the world was going to fall apart at January 1st, 2000 because of a computer glitch, the Y2K glitch. And it seemed like, well, nothing happened. And then a few months ago, I started thinking, you know, really a lot of stuff has changed since 2000. So here's a poem called O Millennium. Y2K fizzled out. Bunkers full of survival food, gold gas cans and gold coins left hanging like the chads that helped that dirty little son of a bush steal a democracy. <laughs> steal a democracy that was already long stolen if it ever existed. And the age of Aquarius played out 30 years earlier on psychedelic dance floors of Fillmore West and East, and those waiting for the hanging man to reappear and bing, beam them up while the non-believers festered in plagues and boils, well, their ride never showed up either. Oh, millennium, you seemed like a popcorn fart in the delusional diary of the rational mind. But then things fell apart. The center could not hold. Somebody's flew planes into the towers of greed and the pent pentagram of death, and it was game on. More food and gas in the bunker. The crosscut saw the sign of revelation, the imminent return, and the warlords at the pentagram had fantastic wet dreams. Oh, millennium, only 650 days late, out of a thousand year prediction, not bad. Enough time for the Y2K crowd to resurface from the bunkers. Even Dr. Helen Caldicutt, who had stashed her grandkids and oatmeal in remote down under because the nukes would all melt down midst the fireworks and old Lang Syne. All millennium, 911, a play on numbers. What is your emergency? Well, Peace is bad for business. Tis far more Nobel and ka-ching 
to destroy the cradle of civilization for a second time, and then to arm the world. Nearly a century past the colonial slice and dice of the desert's newfound riches, while in the land of the free, zombies cheered at Arab Spring, factories pumped out missiles, tanks, MREs, and Amalgeddon. Oh, millennium, you did come, and the heat and the shuddering continues to spread 5,366 days on, a boiling spring, exiling millions and millions from harm to harm. Please give it a rest. Yeah.